Hey guys, so you can see I've quickly done the antennas again for you just to show you what I meant by the off sort of centered heart sort of design um, that I see a lot of other face painters do. So I pretty much just do the same as what they do. Um, so now I'm going to do the other side with the same color and same sponge. So I'm just going to wet my sponge again. And reload that in my cake. Now, how am I going to do this? You can see that will work. So, again, just into the tip in the corner, cutting off the eyebrow on an angle and pressing that down and sort of stippling and getting it to where you want. So now I've come down a little bit more because I saw that gap that I had last time. I've actually probably come down a little bit too much and I think I've got paint in my eye. But never mind. So that's that bit. Same thing again for the bottom. Wiggle that on. I'm not getting as much purple on there as I'd like. So there you go. Okay, that's the colour done. Now while I remember, glitter, you're probably all saying, do the glitter. So um, I've got some pinky, it's almost like a blushy coloured pink. Can't remember where I got it from. And this is just a gold I bought from China Bulk. Um, I like to dip my hands in the water. I'm fizzy on myself, I just lick my finger, <laughs> as we all do. Um, but when I'm at a gig and stuff, I obviously just... Um, dip my finger in the water. You can use the back of a paintbrush and roll it on or you've got your puffer bottles. Um, some like to use little dispenser things. They're like a, um, a blush brush and it comes out. Um, what other ways you could do it? Yeah, whatever, whatever you're comfortable with with putting on your glitter. So I've just got some on my finger and I'm going to move so you can see. And I'm just going to put a line of, well not kind of a line but a messy blobby type of line of glitter so it slowly blends into the pink but I haven't gone near the purple and the same again for the top just blend it into the pink a little bit it's a very limited amount it's only I don't know if you can see but it's only a tiny amount of glitter I will take pictures after this to show you what it looks like in real life so I'm going to get a bit of pink as well because my fingers kind of still a little bit damp and dab some pink on you can see that a lot better and the same for the eyelid now my paint's pretty much kind of dry the only thing that's sticking this glitter on is my wet finger so now I put it on the top eyelid so it's almost like an eye shadowy. It looks really funky. You'll see in the pictures afterwards how um, how cool it looks. So I haven't done any purple because that's where I'll be doing my black lines and stuff. So it's only just going to go with the glitter anyway. But um, less is more. So I put that in the bin, put my lid on my glitter. Okay, so I'm going to take my number four. Not the one I was using with my dots. This is a clean one. I like to keep my brushes separate. And I'm going to um, run that around in my paint. So you can see it's almost like a watery consistency in the middle there if I want to. So I'm getting a nice super consistency but then going back to the middle of my watery one as well to get that in between consistency that I like. And twisting my brush off so it's the pointiest I can get it for a number four. So I'm going to, I hope you guys can see if I maybe do it this way. So same type of thing again, I'm not going to go right into the center of the corner of the eye and I'm just going to follow a line out. So you can either do one big teardrop and have that effect or you could do a sharp ending or you could twirl it around and then do a little thing that I've seen some people do. So I might do that one because I've been wanting to do that design and sweep it around and have this little stuff hanging down. So I'll do it now and show you what I mean. So lightly and then push come around and then wiggle 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 and it kind of looks like a scary butterfly effect so if you wanted to you could add white highlights to that and that would look like spider webby really cool so it's not as thin as I would have liked to come down in here so I might just 
flick that in just to make it a little bit more pointier. A little bit more water on my brush because I think I do like using it more watery than thick for this stuff. So pointy again. And I'm pretty much doing the same effect as we did on the other side, but it's just with a round brush. So I'm going to, I hope you can see, so I'm going to come around from this black and wiggle, wiggle and flick it in. Again, wiggle, wiggle and flick it in. Wiggle, wiggle, whoops, and flick it in. That's actually a bit messy, that last one. You can't sort of see it on the computer. but So I'll tidy that up so it looks a bit blurry on the outside and like that. So at this point, if you wanted to drag in, I might show you with the top just doing some dragging with my new deer foot brush that I bought. So um, I tried to use it dry um, actually before I did this tutorial just on my hand and um, it didn't really work so I've had to use it a little bit damp because the bristles are kind of thick. It's like horse hair actually. Um, so I'm just dipping that in my paint, just wiping it on my keyboard cover, in my pants. So it's kind of wettish, dryish and my paint's probably too dry now but I'm going to try and drag this in for you and it's working because there's a little bit of dampness on the brush so just pushing very lightly and dragging that in and I'm running out of moisture on my brush so if I let it go anymore it's going to start picking up the purple colour and taking that off so that's as much as I'm going to let it blend um, and that just gives a nice soft um, touch to your butterfly. Cool? Cool. Okay, so for the bottom I'm not going to blend it, I'm just going to quickly do the bottom because I'm limited for 20 minutes on Facebook videos. I don't know, I could talk forever. <laughs> So same thing again, thin to thick, thick to thin. If you wanted to, you could finish, I might just show you now. You could finish with a teardrop, that looks cool too. Whatever design you like to go with. So usually that would be a point and then I would do the same thing, wiggle, wiggle, it's almost like a two wiggle, like a bit of a wave and then flick it in. Just whatever your hand decides to do at the time. So wiggle, wiggle and flick it in. So I've only done two for the bottom to make it feel like the wing is smaller and not as much detailed. Um, and that's pretty much in. So again, I'll show you with the deer foot again. Might as well get that excess water off. Yep, it's pretty good. And I'm just going to push up in the direction that I think the butterfly wings would be in. So push just lightly and there you have it. So again I would grab my white number four, mix it up in my wolf white or tag white or chameleon white or paradise white or whatever of white you have that you like to use. Get my little blob on the end so it's not a, sh a sharpie point and add some random dots and I haven't got enough paint on my brush because they're not coming out as you can see that they're kind of going like a triangle shape because I haven't got enough um, paint on my brush. It's gone too pointy. So I dip it in my paint again, and I'm just going to go over these, so that's a lot better, they're a bit more rounded. And let's put two there, and then three there. And that's how you do a butterfly, well that's how I do my butterflies guys. Um, yeah, so if you're going to do a spidery butterfly with this little bit dangling down here, you could add some... Um, white highlights around it to make it look like spiderwebby stuff. 
Um, you can do teardrops for your butterfly wings instead of doing this this way. You can do whatever you like. But this is how I do mine. So if I want to do some blending, I do the thinner butterfly, which I actually think looks a bit more daintier and nicer. Um, it doesn't even need the dots if you don't want to add them. Um, yeah, um, do the same thing. Add the dots to, to even in the sides. Um, but I'll keep it like this to show you on the picture what it looks like without the dots and with the dots. So I'm going to hop off and take a picture of these and upload it underneath this video. So I hope you guys got something out of it. Um, I hope it wasn't too light. I've got It's really cloudy here today, so I've got bugger all light coming through my window. Um, yeah, so... Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say, uh, which is unusual. So I hope you liked it and I will do some editing and cut out all my ugly bits um, so you can see pretty promptly how it worked. So, all right, guys, hope you enjoyed it and I will upload the pictures for you now. Don't forget to enter in the competition that I have going. Um, video number one uh, competition or something it's called you'll be able to see it on the group page thingy anyway so if you know any um, face painters beginners learners whatever you want to call it um, even um, champion face painters are welcome to come and watch my bodgy videos um, yeah join in the competition and you can win a pack of goodies so um, alright guys I'll catch you later see ya